What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Cougar Mountain Zoo. My name is Jordan and today we are here to do a special episode of Zoo to You. Today we are going to showcase some of our lesser talked about animals. Just to show that just because an animal is small doesn't mean that it's not a great animal. All animals are great. They all have their special roles in the ecosystem. So today we're going to go through a couple of our ambassador animals. Let's go. My name is Sasha. I'm the education curator here at Cougar Mountain Zoo. And today's special guest is our honorary zoo ambassador, Vlad. So as you can tell, Vlad is a wonderful little um, furry friend here. He is called an African pygmy hedgehog. They are found just in the northern part of sub-Saharan Africa in the wild, but they are actually a um, domestic species now. So they've been able to be utilized for humans in that of being a companion animal. So Vlad is almost two years old. They can live to be about five, which is fascinating. A lot of people think they might be part of the rodent family. They're not. They're actually part of their own unique family. And for them, there's some cool features about them compared to that of other small mammals like him. He has specialized hair follicles called quills. Now you might think similar to that to our zoo friend Zambezi, who is a porcupine. Uh, Vlad's quills are similar, but they are different enough so that they don't have the same composition in um, more of a defense mechanism. So for Vlad, he has all these little ones all throughout his body. They have very specialized muscles that can erect the quills or lay them flat. So quills are modified hair follicles. They are made of keratin. He has majority of his body covered in those quills. The underneath portion is just more of a bristly fur uh, that helps guard his belly and his face. Now it's special we're able to have him here today because this is a nocturnal species. So Vlad in the wild would be waking up usually around dusk, uh, be able to forage out there and then go back to bed when the sun starts to rise. So here at Cougar Mountain Zoo, Vlad plays a very special role as an animal ambassador. We're able to take him to facilities to be able to help educate the public in a different way. Now here at Cougar Mountain Zoo, we have a lot more animals that help out and you're about to meet another one next. Hi everyone, my name is Kyla. I'm a keeper here at Cougar Mountain Zoo and today I'm going to talk to you about my friend Henrietta. Henrietta is a three-toed box turtle. They are native to the eastern half of the United States, primarily around the Mississippi River Valley. The coolest thing about Henrietta, in my opinion, is that she was actually the zoo's very first animal. She was hatched in 1971. One of the main questions I get asked about Henrietta is, is she a turtle or a tortoise? And I'm gonna show you right now how you can tell the difference. So a turtle like Henrietta can move all of her appendages or body parts into her shell. And this is a great form of protection. She can get in there nice and tight. And so predators can't get to her. And a tortoise cannot do that. So that is one of the main differences there. Turtles are also semi-aquatic. So Henrietta spends some of her time under the water as well as above the water. So turtles like Henrietta cannot actually breathe underwater, but they can hold their breath. Small turtles are known to hold their breath for around 30 minutes, whereas sea turtles can actually hold their breath up to several hours. Henrietta species also prefers humid environments. So it's very important that we make sure her environment here at the zoo is nice and humid for her. Her species is known to actually migrate around the Mississippi River River Valley to find that perfect humidity level. Another reason Henrietta is very important here at the zoo is because she is one of our ambassador animals. She goes out to visit schools and different facilities to teach people about the importance of her species as well as all wildlife. So that was Henrietta and next we have one last ambassador animal that we'd like to show you today. Well, hello everyone, my name is Alyssa and I am here with our smallest animal ambassador. Right here in my hand we have Twix. And Twix is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. And as their name suggests, they are native to the island of Madagascar off the coast of Africa. So where you find lemurs, you would find these cute little guys here. And they are called hissing cockroaches because when they feel threatened, they can actually release all the air in their bodies out of body parts called spiracles, which run along their sides here. And it makes a hissing sound. So it sounds a lot like a snake. So that way, if something were to try to pick them up like a lemur, they make that hissing sound and then the lemur might drop them and be like, what was that noise just now? And get a little bit startled. And they can also use that hissing noise to communicate with each other too. So it's mostly the males that will communicate with hissing. And I do have our boy and here we have Bugsy. So you can tell he's a boy because if you look at the front of his head here, he has these little horns. So those horns, only the males have those. 
and they are used to fight each other. So when they're fighting for mates or territory, they'll use these little horns to flip each other over on their backs. Roaches are decomposers, which means that they eat the dead vegetation on the bottom of the forest floor, which is really good because we don't want to walk around when we're in the woods all on top of a whole bunch of dead leaves. So they eat all the dead leaf material that falls on the forest floor, which is really good because then they can also recycle those nutrients so new trees can grow. Here they are ambassadors to show that roaches aren't that scary. They're pretty cute. <laughs> I mean, how do you not love a roach named Twix? I mean, she's pretty adorable. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and learning a little bit about our ambassador animals here at the zoo. Even though they do play a behind the scenes role, they still have a very important role here at the zoo and we enjoy having them. And I hope that you also learn that no matter how small or large you are, you do play a part in the ecosystem and we need everyone to come together to make the world a better place. Thank you all for watching that quick edition of Zoo to You about ambassador animals. We wanted to showcase today to let you guys know that all animals are important, no matter how big or small. And we want you to comment down below what you learned today. What was your favorite little animal? Was it Vlad the hedgehog? Was it Henrietta the turtle? Or was it the roaches? The roaches are my favorite, Twix in particular. So let me know down below what you thought. Till next time, see you later.